Hey, how's it going, folks? Today, we're gonna take the ultimate test. As you know, I got this thing, the computer cleaner. And today, I'm gonna give it the ultimate test. So you guys might not know this, but the computer that I always create content with is quite filthy. If you want to convince yourself, here's a closer look. Look at that. This thing is caked with dust, and this isn't even the interior. We can take a look in the interior right now. It's not completely caked with dust in the interior because I did use an air duster. But as you can see, there's still quite a lot of dust in here. This GPU has clearly seen better days. Yeah. So did these fans. So did this portion of the case where we have the hard drive. Uh, I think I may have already said this, or maybe I didn't. I rerouted cables recently because there was a whole tree. There was a whole earth tree of cables inside my PC. This is an Elden Ring reference for you all fans out there. You know I'm one of you. Let's get to cleaning this thing. First, let me take out the high pressure small area head. There's also a brush head. And I think this one's gonna be really useful to loosen up because there is gonna be a bunch of dust that is sticky and that dust will not be removable with uh, the usual stuff. This is a high pressure head and we're gonna use the simple head that is also advertised on the box. Fasten it like this and we're good to go. All we need to do is plug this bad boy in and it gets right to work. The way this thing also works though, is this button doesn't, it's not a toggle, it's a hold. And I think that's not a bad thing because this device apparently has a habit of getting hot. And if it gets too hot, it starts to blow hot air. And if you're cleaning electronics, like the internals of a computer, you really don't want that. You don't want to overheat your motherboard and other things. We have power. Now, I think I'm gonna start by cleaning up the front fan. The first front fan. Perfect! Holy moly, did you see that? <laughs> All the dust is, oh my God. All the dust is gone now. I don't think you could see it very well, but what I was doing is I was actually using my hand to hold the middle <laughs> fan in place. That is to keep the fan from spinning because you don't want these fans to spin if they're not working. That is going to damage the fans and you're going to end up needing brand new case fans and you really do not want that. So. This goes for any sing every single fan that is in your computer, even the cooler fan, even your GPU cooling fan. You want to protect all of those fans, unless you want to hold up technical difficulties, unless you want to spend money on a new fan. But with that in mind, we're gonna be careful. I think I might already start using my brush. I'm gonna show you guys something here. So, Hello Sriracha bottle, hello soy sauce. So if we look here, these fans are caked, absolutely caked with dust. And we're gonna have to loosen that dirt up. It's not gonna come out just by blowing, even though this little guy is doing a very good job, by the way. It's, this is a very good product, I highly recommend it. I think whether you go with the pro version or, or the simple compu cleaner, you can't really go wrong with it. It's the pro version has a bag as well, and it has a few more heads than the regular one, but it doesn't really matter. If you're an average guy who just wants to clean his computer, then you should be good. Okay, so... Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of dust most likely in the cable management compartment as well. I can see it coming off. 
Let's try and blow at these fans from the inside. Maybe then we're gonna be able to get a lot more dust off. And, um, Oh, never mind, I was spinning this regardless, okay. Invincible. Okay, so things are good for now. I think I'm gonna move on to the power supply. Uh, okay, so this power supply has a fan as well. I'm gonna look for something small so we can actually get in there and uh, and hold it because I don't want to break that fan. So what I'm going to use is the straw from the banished, from the banished uh, air duster to clean this thing. This is plastic, so... I had to scale down my videos to 1080p just so I could be able to uh, use Premiere Pro without it crashing. So, yeah. The power supply is done. Because there's a lot of dust in it. So this thing is getting a bit warm. Uh, I mean, the air that it blows is getting a bit warm at the moment, but nothing to be concerned about. It's not like it's hot to the touch. That would be a lot more concerning. Now I'm gonna move on to the GPU. I'm just gonna do a bit. Okay. I think I'd rather do the CPU cooler first, because I think there's a lot of dust in that heat sink. And in that. You guys have to see something. Look at this CPU, man. It's it looks like brand new. I swear to God. There's a lot of dust right now flying around and it's trying to settle back inside the computer, which is quite concerning. Uh, I can't really deal with that. I am shooting a video and if I was, I could be a bit more efficient about this uh, by just cleaning the shit out of this PC and not recording it, but I have to cloud chase as usual. Because that's what people do nowadays, that's what the kids do. And I have to be cool and hip with the kids, right? Um, so, um, yeah, the next one is a big one, the GPU. I think the GPU is having a lot of performance issues at the moment. I'm gonna see if these performance issues may be fixed. If I clean it, it doesn't look like there's anywhere. There's like a, a level above the two cooling fans, the two intake fans of the case that is also quite caked up and I just cleaned it up. Now let's get to the GPU. We we'll start with the <laughs> fan that's the most towards the, the IO shield. So really exposed to this dust. I shouldn't have been like this. I should have <laughs> If anything, guys, do not do what I'm doing. Please protect yourselves. I think I'm gonna lift this monster of a PC that I have like this. It's a lot better in my opinion. 
and I'm gonna continue my work here. Nasty. You guys can hear me, I'm literally choking to death over here. I got the window open. You guys can probably see how much dust there is in the in the friggin' light. Like you can see the sun glaring into my room and then there's like this curtain of dust that's literally floating in the air and it's crazy. I'm gonna also do a general cleaning right after this because there has been quite a lot of dust in my room lately and I have to get rid of all of it. But I do like to live dangerously. Okay, so um, one last fan to take care of. Finally protected with the right gear. So it's this fan over here. You guys can probably see it. I'm right in front of the camera with this thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see me as well. So this is the last thing and this PC looks like brand new. I'll be damned. This this bad boy is quite nice. It's it's a great it's a great blower for your PC cleanups. So here we go, last last step. to like I previously told you if you let your fan spin when you're cleaning dust inside your computer you could damage these fans so you really don't want them to spin uh, while they're not powered on and functioning so final fan over here this sticker is coming off I don't blame it you're quite, you're quite aged aren't you yeah, so as you can see there is this interchangeable dust filter I have a spare one over here but I don't have to use the spare one because this thing is now dusty due to all of the blowing and stuff that I've done over here both of these from spinning because I really don't want to have to order new fans. Let's take a tour of this rig post cleanup. So as you can see, you guys are probably gonna have the frames of this interior before I cleaned it up. There's still a small layer of dust over here, but I can do away with that in just a moment. I'm just showing you guys around for now. But yeah, I'm considering this thing to be quite clean now. Uh, I think we're good to go. I think if this thing, if this thing powers on really dude, way to be optimistic. Um, yeah, when I power this thing on, I do expect to see things be a little more in control in terms of temperatures. Right. I also have to use the same PC to edit and do a bunch of other stuff like games. So yeah, uh, it's my only PC and hopefully I didn't fuck it up. I shouldn't have. No way. Right. Um, where is this? And that's it, that's the final step. So now let's uh, put this panel back on 
and power this baby on. So the PC is up and running. From the looks of it, do we get an image or not? Damn, look at all the dust that just settled. Where is this cable? Oh, damn, it's an HDMI one. Then why are we not getting an image here? So we didn't wreck these. Oh, here we go. I knew it. Startup is quite slow these days. I don't know why. Right now, I'm holding my phone by the tripod. I'm a true content creator, everyone. Look at me. You probably you can probably see me in the reflection of the TV. And here's the microphone. Hello, Mike. To me, everything looks normal. Everything works as usual. Yeah. So that was it for this whole shebang about cleaning my PC. I wanted to really give that CompuCleaner a proper test and it succeeded. It's, it's a very nice product. I highly recommend it. Do check it out. Uh, you can find one on Amazon. That's how I got mine. Uh, do beware if you live in Belgium though, because these rocket scientists decided to deliver mine in the mailbox and originally i knew that i had stuff to do and i wouldn't be home so i went on b post's website and i literally indicated that you are not supposed to bring this to my place if you don't find me home and they did it anyway and guess what they decided to do they decided to leave it in the mailbox what a great plan an expensive product. I paid 60 euros for this bad boy and they leave it in the, in the mailbox. I don't get it. Are people this crazy? Like we don't live in a utopia. I don't care that, you know, shit is uh, nicer over here. I'm still going to take precautions to not be, you know, robbed and stuff. And one of these precautions is telling the damn post office to not bring my shit home if I'm not home. You guys do that, by the way. Always tell them not to bring your shit home if you're not home. But anyways, enough of my rant here. Uh, you're going to hear a lot more of these rants probably on Instagram because I'm planning to do a bit more of these. So, uh, yeah. Take care and have a great day. Cheers.